What's up everyone and welcome back JJ Buckets as you know and it's time it's time to talk basketball. Let's check the replay <laughs> all of Canada. The Raptors have somewhat bounced back from a turbulent start to the season and they are quietly trending upward with their play. I made a video not too long ago talking about some of the early season takeaways from, I think it was after 10 games, what I had seen from that sample size, and some of the issues and some of the strengths with the team at the time. And some of the things that I pointed out as issues, like the defense, have seemingly been getting better. Some things that I pointed out as issues, like closing games, have not. But with all that being said, at the time of this recording, the Raptors are 7-11 and only half a game back of the 8th seed in the East. The last point that I made in that same video was I thought that the Raptors core that they have in place is still more than good enough to be a playoff team and I completely stand by that. But I do think there's one thing that they can really do going forward this season that would genuinely boost their chances. I'm gonna make the case to you why I think Norman Powell should be a permanent fixture in the starting lineup for the Raptors going forward. Let's look at the data. Off the bench this season, Norman Powell hasn't been fantastic. He's averaging 10 and a half points per game, 35% from the field, which is terrible, and 38% from three, which is actually pretty decent, along with 0.7 steals per game. On top of that, the Raptors are three and eight, in games where Norman Powell is coming off the bench. So overall, individually and team success, when Norm is coming off the bench, it really just has not been that great. We said meh, M-E-H, meh. However, let's look at what he's looked like as a starter. He has had seven games where he's been a starter and the Raptors are four and three in them. So they're an above 500 team, which is a great start to begin with. But individually is where it really just jumps off the page to me, you know? Norman Powell, is averaging 20.1 points per game as a starter, so almost, almost 10 points per game more. He's averaging 51% from the field. He's averaging 43% from three, and even his steals numbers double from 0.7 steals per game to 1.4 steals per game. Wow. Now, I think you can look at this in the sense that Norman Powell just really benefits from having creators like Kyle or Fred around him more often, or even Pascal is, you know, as a creator, I think having those extra guys around him really help elevate his scoring. And obviously the Raptors starters and the starting lineup is rewarded from having Norm's extra scoring punch in the lineup and having that consistent scoring effort from a guy like Norm. And even defensively, he's definitely more engaged. I don't want, I don't know if I want to say more engaged, but he's definitely a, more of a positive when he's surrounded by guys like OG and Pascal as opposed to you know some of the guys that he's coming off the bench with. So based on some of the success that we've seen of Norm as a starter, I do think it would be advantageous to the, Ra to the Raptors to move him into the starting lineup permanently. But a lot of Norm's starts have come when guys have been out of the lineup, right? So naturally when everybody's healthy, you're gonna have to drop one of your regular starters that you've been running with this season. The question is, who do you do it to? It's gonna be one of the two guards currently in the starting lineup that I would suggest to drop. So either Fred Van Vliet or Kyle Lowry. And comment below and let me know who you think you'd rather have in that six man role. But I'm gonna go out on limb here. And this may get me crucified in the Raptors community, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I think you should move Kyle Lowry to the bench and start Fred Van Vliet with Norm, OG, Pascal, and Baines. Torches! Get your torches! Pitchforks! You can't be an angry mob without pitchforks! <sighs> now, before the pitchforks are at my door, before I'm getting tomatoed out in public, hear me out. Well, I mean, you're not gonna tomato me in public anyways, because Toronto's in lockdown right now, so, haha! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> but, but anyways, Kyle Lowry is 34 years old, and as much as Raptors fans don't want to hear it, he may be in his last season with the Raptors. Now, that's a little besides the point, but what I'm saying is, I'd want to keep Fred in the starting lineup because he's very clearly a part of the future for the Raptors moving forward, and Kyle may not be. Again. 
pitchforks, please, please. <laughs> but why I really particularly like the move to the bench for Kyle is Kyle is obviously just a natural leader, right? And he's a leader obviously on this Raptors team. And I'm sure he'd have no problem sacrificing to take that six man role if it meant the team was gonna have more success from it. And he'd get a chance to anchor the second unit and give them the boost of having that leadership along with his playmaking, along with his defense, and along with his scoring to really guide the way. And I think his presence there could go a long way to seeing that second unit consistently thriving. Plus, it's not like it would be a huge difference anyways like, he's still going to be getting starter level minutes. The difference is he's going to be getting those starter level minutes a little bit more with guys from the second unit that could use him, like a Terrence Davis or like a Utah or like a Chris Boucher that would all definitely benefit from having him coming off that bench with them. Plus, like, what you're really looking to accomplish here is, I think, as I said before, you just want to get Norman extended look with the starters in terms of you want his minutes to be more closely tied to guys like Fred Van Vliet and Pascal, obviously OG as well, where I think he'll really benefit from that. And I think, again, at this point in his career, I don't see Kyle putting up a huge fight against, you know, that request. Like if Nick Nurse said, hey, we think we're going to be a better team with you coming off the bench as a six man. I don't really see Kyle's ego or anything getting in the way of that. Obviously, we're still really early in the season and the sample sizes that we're dealing with are still small. So I really hope this doesn't come off as an overreaction, but I do truly think the Raptors would be a better team going forward with Norman Powell as a starter. That being said, if I'm wrong, let me hear it. Comment below, let me know what you think. Like the video if you guys have a chance, it really helps the channel grow. Subscribe as well, I really do appreciate it. I know I say the same thing every time, but genuinely, I really do appreciate it every time you folks do it. So, do all the good stuff for me. And yeah, that's gonna do it for me today. And I am out of here. <laughs>